Okay, so once we were done getting coffee, we went to a Zufari. Um, so we can cross off Virginia from my bucket list of seeing a zoo or aquarium in every state. So before we even started, we sat and ate our lunch in her vehicle. Um, we had a Greek salad. Okay, so the concept is that um, we were able to drive around two times. Um, you could get food, um, like probably I think carrots or something like that, that you could feed the animals from your car. We opted not to do that. Instead, we um, just drove around the two times. I tried to get as many pictures as I could. And uh, but the animals would still come up to our window um, usually they were coming up to her window and then she'd be like okay bye see you later um, and try to roll up her window a little bit because she didn't need them or want them to be um, all up in her face because um, they're like looking for food so we're going to be coming up in, a, in the next couple seconds with the first animal that came up to her and this I just took a um kept taking pictures of this animal and it gets funnier and funnier as it goes Okay, so then there was this, um, I think it was a llama um, or a sheep that was just laying on the ground and Molly kept wondering, is it alive, is it alive? We finally did see it move, so we knew it was alive and everything. So here you can see the animals um, reaching out um, and feeding or touching the animals, even though I don't think you were supposed to really touch them. Okay, so I decided um, that I needed to take a picture of me. Oh, and I didn't realize in the back there, you can see some of the animals. Okay, go with me. 
Um, so there's some of the ostriches and emus. Or emus and not ostriches? I don't know. One of those things. Um, they had some, like, camel rides. But um, the one thing we learned that if we wanted to do the extras, it was all going to cost money. Um, and we figured, hey, we bought the tickets. Um, we're not going to do any of the extras. So we opted not to do that. Um, so here comes another animal up to her um, window and trying to see if they can get some food. It may be the same one as before. Uh, just trying once again to try to get some food from her. And then they said, oh, never mind. She's not going to give me anything. So I'm going to move on. Okay, so we really adored this little baby deer. Um, I had took a, several pictures of it. And um, then comes the cow parade. All the cows are coming to save our day, save the day. And some uh, longhorns. And then this cow came to the window and there's her trying to roll up the window. They're looking for some food. And she's like, oh, nope. Try again. Find somebody else. So, now, um, once we got done going around the two times, we um, then got to walk around the zoo area. As I said, um, some of the experiences cost extra money. I already had bought tickets, and I was not going to be willing to pay for extra experiences. So, uh, there, it was a very small, um, very small zoo um, once we got into there. Uh, lots of goats that you could feed, a uh, few other animals. Um, as you can see, there is a cheetah, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's a cheetah. Cause it, um, so there's the cheetahs and everything. 
and a river hog is coming up. So um, enjoy. So I may have fallen in love with all these little baby goats, so I took way too many um, pictures of them. I was actually waiting on uh, Molly. She had gone to the restroom, I believe, and so while she was there, in there, I went and I started just taking all these pictures of these baby goats because I was like, oh, these are so adorable. So enjoy my many, many, many pictures of these baby goats, these kids. Okay, so join me next time. Um, we are going to be going to go find another love sculpture. And we find it in the most interesting place. And we do something in memory of my mom. So with that, be blessed. Never stop exploring. 
See you next time. Bye.